Hello and welcome. We are looking into the new moon in Leo coming in on August the 4th. I just uploaded the August forecast. So this is going to include some of the energies of August that I covered already. So we have 4th of August being actually a very big date. Um, it is going to include Mercury retrograde in Virgo and Venus going into Virgo as well. So the energy is naturally going to be a little bit funky at this time during the new moon. So new moons, clean slate. It's a time where you get to cast new intentions into the universe. It is a, a blank canvas, if you will. It is a clean slate. We get to sort of come to a point and review what we've gone through over the last month and make in, make intentions or create intentions towards the change that we want in our future moving forward. So we had cancer season, which allowed us to connect with our heart, allowed us to connect with our intuitive self, allowed us to connect with our softer side, allowed us maybe to heal relationships, um, deepen relationships, connect with again, the the um, the softer side of ourselves, speaking from the heart or connecting deeper within ourselves. There could have been a lot of emotions, there could have been um, meaningful connections, there could have been healing connections, there could have been many beautiful, softer, internal um, experiences that you may have gone through where maybe you had time by yourself to go inwards a little bit into your heart, into your emotional self. Now in Leo season, this is where we get to go out. This is where we get to go out to express. This is where we get to go out and also connect or create from our heart, create and express from our heart. So this new moon in Leo on the 4th is an opener to this opportunity that we have to express from our heart, express from our true self, um, be unapologetic with how we want to be as our true self. Leo is fixed fire sign. So this is going to be a slower paced time of the year where we are going to be in more of a fixed element where we can really anchor into this feeling of ourselves into a feeling into a notion into a connection of who we truly are what we are made of what we are dreaming what we are desiring and also has a very strong element of abundance with this one of what we want to create with regards to an abundant life now abundance is everything it is everything and all encompassing and this fixed energy is going to be very nice to anchor into what we want to create coming from a very creative fire fire centric or inspired by our fire element, what we want to create, what we want to birth, what we want to see grow, that is going to be representative of ourselves, that is going to represent our authentic self, that is going to represent our true self, that is also going to inspire us to maybe be bold and make daring moves and put ourselves out there in some kind of form. Now out there can be in any kind of way. It doesn't have to be in bold, dramatic ways, although you are going to have the supported, the, the support during this time to be bold and to maybe take a step into the unknown or into a direction that you may have been avoiding or that you may have been holding off for some, some time. This is a time to make bold moves, but it's also a time in this fixed energy to think of the long term of what you want to create with this bold energy with the boldness of yourself. And also do not hold back during this full moon. During the full moon, set intentions around what you can do to break through your barriers, what is holding you back. And you can even almost take a little bit of a reversed approach with this new moon of thinking of what do you want? What are your greatest, biggest, audacious dreams? What are your greatest desires in every area of your life? And then look at who you have to be to be there. Who are you in that future reality? Who are you when you are in your full authentic self being unapologetic for who you are, expressing from the heart, expressing fully, being creative, feeling as though there's nothing weighing you down or holding you back. Now, how does that feel? It's going to be very, I feel valuable for your manifestation and for your alignment with the energetics aspect of this new moon. So we do have also the energetics in play, I should also mention, because Leo is a fire. Uh, Leo has a very beautiful ability to channel energy, to work with energy. So be open for uh, your vision to start to form. Be open for yourself to connect with your intuitive side, your energetic side, your higher self, especially tapping into your inner guidance, your inner knowing, and of course, your heart, right? So this is the heart of the lion. It is, again, a very bold energy. And when we are 
when we do not have restrictions based on fear, based on what if, based on holding ourselves back and limiting ourselves, then we are able to move fluidly and fully into an expression of ourselves and create from that place. And it is a very, very strong place to manifest. It's a very strong place to be. So you can work back at your vision of where you want to be, who you are in your future, how that feels, and then work backwards of what needs to change in the present moment for you to break open, break through the barriers of fear, break through maybe resistance, which most likely will be fear of any kind within yourself. And what needs to be done in order for you to break through the fears, break through the barriers, maybe invest in yourself, invest in self work, maybe shadow work, maybe working, of course, yes, through the fears, <clears throat> putting yourself out there in some kind of way being daring. And I would say, implement bite-sized chunks into this work implement step-by-step -step, step actionable steps that you can take that will get you to who you want to be and so from who you want to be is the future you're going to create because this is the inception this is the starting point or the the foundation of creation right and when we are accessing our true self when we are creating from a place that's pure when we are creating from a place that's authentic, when we are creating from a place that's powerful, when we are creating from a place that is in alignment with our highest potential, greatest good, highest self, I should say, and highest potential, when we are aligned and creating from that place of purity and power, it is very, very, very powerful. It is very creative and it will be very abundant. So not only are we going to be able to create from that place, but we can also attract because we are in that law of attraction. We are in a place in a vibrational state of being with abundance, with our power, with authenticity, with trust, with creation. And when we are in that creative aspect of self, it is very, very powerful to be. So this new moon is going to be very powerful. It is going to be very potent for manifestation for truly creating that's why i like this new moon i like leo new and full moons truthfully because of this aspect of tapping into and accessing our creative self when we are authentic when we are really tuned in with ourselves, when we are really aligned and when we are when we are allowing ourselves to be open with that it is very very magnetic it is very creative we get to really tap into our ability to create we get to also access our true power and potency so the attributes of leo during leo season is very courageous very brave very unapologetic um, accessing the true authenticity of oneself and being very creative in the delivery or creative in the ability to manifest so delivery i mean in our ability to communicate our ability to create anything in our work environment with relationships anything to do with what we are desiring we get to create it we get to nurture the growth based on our ability to to create and to align from a place of true knowing our true self and being very again this unapologetic sense of self being bold putting ourselves out there saying what we want to say being who we want to be without worrying what people are going to say or worrying about the worst case outcomes this is a time for you to be bold this is a time for you to step into your truth this is a time for you to step into your knowing this is a time for you to be all you want to be so spend some time during this new moon really connect with that aspect of yourself and write it down on paper speak it into the universe of who you want to be how you want to feel how you want your reality to be how you want your future to be connect with the vision of your future and most importantly how it feels and the feeling aspect is going to be very very advantageous very beneficial beneficial for manifesting for aligning with who you want to be and then it's going to be also be important to go a little bit uh, back into the present moment or take a little bit of a step into I would say the shadow and you can think about this for the full moon in Aquarius which is going to tie into the individualistic self of what is getting in the way of being that person what is getting in the way of manifesting what you are wanting and remembering that manifesting and creating happens in the present moment while also understanding where one is going and understanding what the future looks like what the future feels like but all of the work is happening in the present moment so it's a combination of self-development it's a combination of energetic work it's a combination of the actual practical work that needs to be done it's a combination of many things actually but then we also have to trust that 
this path that we're on and what we are creating is actually unfolding in mysterious ways. So there is a level of knowing, there's a level of trust that needs to be implemented into this practice. Also too, regarding the general energy of August, we have a universal month number 16, seven, karmic debt number 16, which is a big big number it is the tower card in tarot if you're familiar with that and it does lead to great change it can be the fall of the ego now leo's shadow side can be egoic can be prideful and can be looking for validation from others in order to make one feel like they are on track or doing something right when we have the validation within ourselves to access at all time where we don't need to seek external validation for ourselves and what we are doing and who we are so there could be perhaps a bit of a shift in egoic energy due to the 16 uh, karmic debt number of 16 seven for the month of august now seven the root the the primary number the main number is going to be um, an energy of accessing our spiritual self our inner knowing or the truth within ourselves so with the fall of the ego if there's a realization around this new moon then there can very well be a, a maybe a shift of ego or a dismantling of ego or transformation a death and rebirth that also can be something um, that you can access that you can work with or that you can observe if it is resonating with you now of course with the death and rebirth with the 16 7 every time there is a fall every time there is a death every time there is a shift in ego there is an awakening there is a spiritual awakening there is a new sense of self there is a new realization there's a depth in spiritual understanding and awareness within oneself so do not avoid the 16 i would say go into it as much as possible because that is where we get to really shift that is where we get to create that change that is where we go deeper within ourselves and deeper within spiritual knowing and understanding and wisdom and of course during the fourth we have mercury retrograde in virgo we have venus going into virgo as well so the energy can be a little bit funny but i would like to say with this particular new moon focus on the new moon focus on these attributes because they're very important and i feel they will really help us move forward especially aligning more with our true self and our full ability and capability to manifest to create and to be all that we want to be so i would i would say with the particular energies of around this new moon work with the new moon stay really focused you may feel a little bit it depending on your chart depending on what you have in your chart mercury virgo can be intense i am going to create a post on the um, on this energy i feel it's going to have a little bit of a theme of rethink so even during this new moon this is all energetic work it's all fire work this has nothing really to do so much with the mind with the intellect although you can incorporate it into your practice and even just look back at what needs to maybe change or shift or maybe even taking a pause before making a bit a giant leap forward or before putting actionable steps into place during this new moon for your next steps moving forward take some time take a bit of a pause rethink maybe some of your decisions maybe even go back a few steps what needs to change in order to create in order for you to move into this leo energy and into this new moon and the steps ahead that you are wanting to manifest during the new moon you may also want to look at creative solutions and creative ways to express yourself um, even to create in general to create your manifestations to be creative and also again as i mentioned try to find perhaps creative solutions to any issues that you might be facing or any challenges that you might be facing knowing that everything has a way through everything even if you find yourself at a roadblock there's always a creative solution to work through it and the mercury in virgo mercury retrograde in virgo i feel can help with this is going to take a bit of reworking rethinking in order to access the ability to create the change from the place of inner strength right so there are a few components here to work with during this new moon take some time, take a pause, rethink, move backwards a little bit, maybe create some changes or move back a few steps in order to take a giant leap forward. Maybe something from the past needs to be fixed. Maybe there needs to be a new strategy implemented with this Mercury retrograde in Virgo. Maybe there needs to be a bit more structure, a bit more organization. Maybe there's been too much hesitation and too much perfectionism holding oneself back from making a move so that also can come into play so where are you holding yourself back where is the resistance where is there fear especially from you moving forward being creative being all that you want to be and manifesting your dreams and desires and being that person who you want to be of course in the future of your of your desires
All right, so I'm wishing you all the best during this new moon and beyond, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care.